Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another verse video. You guys really liked the last one we did with the two champs verse five silvers. If you guys haven't watched that, check it out. I posted it a couple days ago. But you guys really enjoyed that. So today we're going to be doing five golds verse five plats today. Blue team are going to be your plat players and orange team are going to be your gold players so if you guys enjoy this video consider liking subscribe turn notifications on and let's get straight into round one here all righty here we go with round number one looks like uh jaeger wants to make a spawn peak here but xylo does have a pre-placed drone on that so we might see iana here take him out we'll see what happens here here comes the pre-fire and yep there it is. That's the danger of spawn peeking when there's a pre-place drawn on you. But with that being said, looks like uh, Zylo is going to be trying to push through east as well as a lot of his other teammates. So probably an east take here from the plat players. And they're already up in player count because Jaeger got taken out so quickly. So it's already a 5v4 now. Taking a look at the defense now. Set up in sight. Looks like they're missing a, a couple key things in their setup the hatch in the small closet is soft instead of open so it's gonna be a struggle to rotate out of here but we'll see how this suits them rise actually is below right now he we could see him try to nade from below that's a very very common strategy and yep here it goes and we actually might see Cade get taken out here by the nade no he's gonna get put to one hp practically but a second nade is coming out and surely that's not going to land anywhere but fortunately for Cade they do have the Thunderbird to be able to heal straight back up now still a 5v4 not much is really happening kind of a stall out here from the attack all right Sludge picking up another uh kill there on Iana. that is very confusing and Grim is going to get the wall open here for the plat team now Osa trying to swing in and another kill actually from Iana. He's going to get downed. Likely not going to take him out. <laughs> That's going to be... Who is that actually? Uh, Osa getting a kill. Last one is Valkyrie all the way in CCTV right now. Prone looking through these holes. But here comes Iana trying to get another kill here on this round. But she is only 1 HP. If, if Valk held this angle, surely he got the kill there. But... A kill all the way from Metal from Xylo is going to take him out. And that's going to be round to number one going to the plat players. By the way, if you guys haven't already, check out G Field, the link in the description. Use code SHOCK to get 30% off your order. Would mean a lot to me if you guys were to do that. Another pre placed drone here from Silo, but fortunately for. Uh, I'm not even sure how to say Legion's name here, but he is not spawn picking again. So he is going to be safe from another pre-fire here from Iana. And we do see her pushing the break room door. So that certainly would have happened. Grim pushing up towards the armory bow. Wanting to open up the wall here. But Cade, of course, going to stop him at least for now. Xylo trying to bring the Twitch drone into sight here. Possibly trying to get those Cades off the wall. That way Grim is able to open it up. We'll see how this works out instead just going to shock the lesion and do like barely any damage to him for no reason interesting soul is actually playing below right now and she is getting a ton of information this could be a very very big problem but as i say that rise actually all the way downstairs outside by the front door is going to take her out immediately xylo taking a fair amount of damage himself here and i'm actually not even sure from who just yet but it looks like some smoke grenades are going out on the main breach rise throwing out smokes and candelas but toast gonna throw out his own smokes he's gonna get blinded though but rise will not as she is ying Grim desperately trying to get through the CC door to walk in and plant. Rise deep in sight. Going to take out Cade. Thunderbird is down from Miyana. That's going to be Thunderbird getting taken out. And if we look, it's just Legion prone underneath the archives desk. And he's going to get taken out swiftly by Rise. A great Ying push by Rise that round. Very well played. And that's also going to be the second round going to the Plat team. Great job. All right, Grim trying to shoot through the detention wall here, but little does he know 
Frost is right around the corner trying to shoot back right through it, but no one is going to get hit in that engagement. Now, Axe trying to open up that front door. It looks like the plat team is going to repel up, mostly trying to take just armory once again. Now, the site is below this time, but an armory take is pretty common. Take above, play vertical, and then plant and vent. Now, this is going to be a big problem. Xylo all the way over here could start playing on the window. He's going straight towards it right now, the archives window. This is going to be a big problem for the upstairs hold here. And as I say that, a grenade is going to come through from M and take out Toast just like that. That's the Aruni going down. And now Xylo is able to come upstairs and start cluster charging the entire floor. And M with that sledgehammer taking out all of the little hiding spots that the defenders could be in right now. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be dripped in sight. Vito actually going to get a kill, though, on the flank. That's Silo ta being taken out. That's your sledge dying. And Ronoids, I'm not trying to say his name, is going to get taken out by Grim. Your Habana, but likely not on the Frost, is going to refrag. And that's your Flores going down for the Plat team. 3v3 now. But... <laughs> Uh, axe being being put to one hp right there looks like drips is trying to make it a 3v2 but axe is going to hold on for now Beto still trying to find a flank here but it looks like axe is going to go ahead and air jab that off so it does not look possible three breach charges left from axe so the rest of this floor is definitely going to get opened up here but Beto still trying to make a flank work trying to push in through the metal hallway right here and he's going to be contesting grim to the best of his abilities 40 seconds left for the attackers. And oh, Grim's going to swing the hallway and take Beto out. There goes the Mozzie flank. Three, or wow, 2v2 now. But the HP advantage is most certainly in the attackers or uh, the defenders. I, and as I say that, Drips clearly demonstrating that as he tanks a little bit of bullets and only shoots Grim a single time to take him out. Axe going to rotate now away from archives and towards the ventilation window which is exactly where drips is playing axe hops in and drips is just holding the angle and he gets another kill for himself on this round and that's going to be the first round actually for the gold players setting us up for a two to one split here on border all right wow rise starting the round off here for the plat team going to be taking out drips on the osa wow even look at the azami behind him blocking anyone from being able to shoot him in the back and well there was an air jab here but rise going to impact it off and look demonstrating how useful that azami is on his back it looks like likely was trying to open up uh that door there and just wasn't able to do so but if he goes to nade this he could get two free kills there's two people half wall right now he's got to be very careful how he does this but there is two kills on half wall if he ends up nading that Toast trying to open up the wall here, but I believe Grim is K tricking right now, so he's not able to open it up just yet. Likely has now Iana cloned underneath and knows it is safe to go in and nade. At least someone is rises here in customs, just very close to him. Am going to get a kill onto Likely though. That's the Iana below getting taken out. Uh, I actually don't even know how that even happened. Rise still below. A lot of Azami's in his pocket right now. Xylo trying to hold CC desperately still. Toast gonna swing, do a ton of damage to Xylo before Renoids comes in and takes him out. Vito trying to swing this break door here into the 90 hall and does a little bit of damage onto Rai. She's gonna throw another Azami on the metal door so he's able to walk back into sight safely. Toast able to finally get open the armory wall now. But he's going to have to contest with Grim, who's sitting behind this shield. And he's going to handle it, pretty much. That is uh, Grim being taken out. Toast handling the situation. Flashbangs and smoke grenades are going to go in now. Renoids proning into the site. He's going to get a kill onto M's. There goes your smoke. Toast planning directly in the smoke, but he's going to get taken out by Rise, who's just sitting in that small office. Impact grenades go out. Nothing's going to hit. Vito taking tons of damage. That's going to be Rise going to get killed onto Renoids. And Axe finally getting the last kill onto Vito. 
match point now for the plat players wow quickly taking a look at the scoreboard as well we've got rise leading for the plat team six and two axe right behind them five and one taking a look at the gold team however it is not quite as good for your first and second place one and four three and four you do have another player at three and three but they are not first and second who really cares about that though all that i really am seeing here is that the gold team is just not winning as many gunfights as the plat team and honestly that is really the biggest difference in my opinion between gold and plat is mostly just mechanics obviously game sense as well but mechanics play such a huge role in that gap between gold and plat in my opinion and it's showing that exact thing here with the plat team having tons of kills and the gold team just really not being able to keep up i also want to give a big thank you to everybody you see here playing in today's video if you guys also want to play in these videos consider joining my discord server the link is down below in the description it's free for everybody console players pc players doesn't matter join the discord the link is down below in the description like i said it's completely free it's a big community there i've got like almost fifteen thousand people or something like that uh there's a group there's an area to find a group to play with etc etc so consider joining that the link is down below in the description but with that being said here we are on our match point round are the golds going to be able to pull this back i'm not sure if they if they are and as i say that rise jumping out and killing iana instantly literally instantly 30 seconds into the round the gold players already lose a player so these spawn peaks just being a big problem for them not being able to really just win those gunfights it seems rise trying to do another jump out not really even going to find anything but you can see the cockiness here on the plat team just hops out and stands outside for several seconds you definitely see they are feeling themselves the armory wall is not even reinforced interestingly likely on zero is actually already in main lobby right now but he's gonna have to be careful because act is sitting in customs so i'm not sure that he knows the exact position of act it doesn't look like he does as he is going to be throwing a cam in there to get the position and it looks like act actually has no clue that there is he's got a ping directly on his position but likely he's going to take a significant amount of damage from someone else as xylo takes out toast and Beto takes out xylo a lot of action happening upstairs that unfortunately we miss and as soon as i switch off this action with ache our axe he's gonna get the kill onto likely how unfortunate is our timing right now with that being said it looks like Beto is going to have control over above as well as drifts but it looks like they don't even really care to play vertical here Two breach charges on drips and plenty of sledgehammer hits left on Beto, but they don't seem too interested in playing vertical anymore. Beto going to be pushing in through waiting now, but he's going to have to contest with Mozzie on Rise, the top player for the plat team so far. Is he going to be able to win this gunfight? C4 in hand from Rise. A little bit of a stalemate here. A nade coming out from Beto, though, to match the C4 of Rise. But the nade somehow missed. How do you miss that nade? C4 throwing out, thrown out by Rise, but that's surely going to miss just too far away. You can see Grim is desperately trying to help Rise the best that he can. Look at the pixel angle that Rise is holding. Surely Beto cannot win this fight here. Another nade is coming out now. M trying to help out as well. Rise finally going to step up and swing. He's going to get the kill on the Beto. Drips gets the kill on the Grim. And M finally finishing out the round and the map getting the last kill of the game ggs the plats are going to take it four to one on map number one Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen welcome back to map number two here and we are going to be starting on oregon remember this is a best of three just ranked rules so first to four if you didn't see from the last game of course but once again, the uh, plat players are going to be on the blue team and the gold players are going to be on the orange team. All right, round number one is starting here and it looks like Xylo's going to get taken out immediately by Likely. Wow, what a very quick start to the game. 15 seconds in and the gold players are going to start off with a kill. Great start for them here on Oregon. 
Rise with a kill onto Drips. That's going to be Alibi being taken out. Toast desperately trying to refrag, but Rise not swinging. Smartly watching this attic window, trying to bait someone into peeking it. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Valk swings and gets taken out. Rise on a rampage right now, opening up the green hall window, hopping in. No drone needed. This man is a madman. Trying to nade from below to try to take out Toast. But he's all the way inside of attic now, so surely these nades are going to miss. Likely downstairs on, I believe this is, yeah, laundry stairs. So Ryze going to have to be somewhat careful about that, as well as M, who is swinging. And here comes the pre-fire. M going to take out the Thunderbird, likely going down. Wow. 4v2 now. Axe taking a little bit of damage from that Cade. He wants to get this wall open, but none of his teammates are really helping him do so. Rise pushing up through the white stairs right now. Not even a rotate on white or head holes. Axe somehow getting a kill on the toast before Rise finishes the round off, killing Beto on the big window. Pretty decisive round from the plat players. They really only lost one person, so great round by them. All right, the gold team opting to go downstairs this time as they did not win upstairs. Rise already getting his Twitch shown deep into Bunker, though. Able to take out a lot of that utility. Xylo going to follow, follow it up with a Flores drone now. And wow, Rise going to get taken out by Drips. Very nice shot by Drips, the hollow, to be taken out Rise uh, right there. Flores drone comes in and Toast is going to lose his shield and go ahead and reinforce off Elbow. Xylo doing a good job of clearing out that utility, but wow. Jaeger pushing all the way into Bunker. That is wild. Drips desperately trying to get another kill here. Swinging this little hole in the ground. But surely he's going to get droned out here. And pre-fired. And pushing in now. Drips going to be getting a kill onto Xylo. So your Flora is going down. Likely trying to heal up his team now. M getting another kill. But in the smoke. She's not able to get healed. And will be taken out. Toast gets that kill. Now it's going to be Axe and Grim to win out the round. Beto is trying to take out the... Uh, he's shooting a, he sh he's shooting the light bulb thinking it's the air jab. But Grim is going to scare him off back down to sight and leave him on 1 HP. And here comes the stim from Likely to heal him all the way back up. We gotta love the new dock change. Axe droning in. Boiler right now. Second pillar, not seeing anything. Pretty solid defense here from the gold so far. They've got everything locked up pretty tight. You can see how many people are just sitting here swinging pillar, etc. Going to be hard for these two attackers to win this. Axe trying to push down those stairs, but Beto is going to take him out. Renoid's pushing up. Wall banging, doing a little bit of damage onto Grim. Here comes the swing. Who's going to win it? ARX versus the 416. Renoids is going to swing up. Grim's going to do a little bit of damage, but so will Renoids. He's going to swing all the way back down towards Pillar. Two flashes on Grim and an air jab, but only 20 seconds. Renoids is going to clutch it out. And that's actually going to be the first round for the gold team. Here on Oregon. Likely playing a dangerous game here in tower. As the attackers are trying to push in. Through the big tower right now. Axe actually pushing solo in towards master. The defense going to be on the top floor bomb site. This round. Rai is going to be droning in through white stairs. Looks like he's going to be trying to either nade from below. Or push up through the white stairs again. I believe he did that. The last time that the defense had went. Kids, here comes that nade that I was talking about on those holes. Going to do a little bit of damage on the toast, but not enough to kill him. Here come the smoke grenades to try to delay the push from Rise, but he's already rotated it off onto the window here on games. Xylo has actually already opened up and gotten a kill in Attic. That's Renoids being taken out on Jaeger. Likely on a flank right now, though, on the basement stairs. Trying to flank through Big Tower, but Grim is on 
that Nomad. So it could be a serious challenge here. But you can see the air jabs all the way in the double door over there. And it looks like likely is going to be free to walk up. Grim gets a kill before Be Be uh, Beto takes him out. Likely on the flank right now. And Xylo is droning right here. But it looks like Xylo knows about the flank because of all the noise that likely is making. As well as the fact that there's a drone directly on him. Two flank drones sitting there watching. Likely has wasted this uh, flank opportunity, it seems. Axe actually in sight and planting right now. Rise trying to push up through white stairs to defend his teammate. Toast throwing out smoke grenades, but they're going to miss. But he is not going to miss the shots onto Rise. Finally, Xylo's going to get that kill onto Likely. Axe going to get the kill onto Toast. Smoke being taken out. And it's all up to Beto coming up through the white stairs. He's going to get one onto Axe. Two. Xylo goes down. 1v1 now. M versus Beto. Both full HP. Who's going to clutch it out? Beto's looking the wrong way, but M is not. And that's going to be the Platts taking another 2-1 split here on Oregon. A spawn peak here from M. An interesting one as well. An impact grenade on the wall in classroom. But it looks like she's not going to get any kills just yet. And actually going to take a little bit of damage from Renoid, who is outside of the front door. Axe setting up a nice little setup here inside of Trophy. They've got that attic wall open. And the, the Plats are looking to win their first defense round here. Toast going to open up the attic wall. So the golds have a good start so far. Grim playing a dangerous game and going to get punished for it by likely Toast going to get a kill of his own onto Xylo. So that's going to be Cade and Alibi being taken out. Interesting decisions by those, uh, by those uh, two players there. M as well as Axe are both armory side right now, which could prove to be a problem as only Rise is on the actual site itself. We do see three attackers pushing in through Attic, but Renoids is underneath with a nade and Beto is on top white stairs and it's up to Rise to really hold a lot of this down. Axe and M can do what they can with Attic, but this is a real struggle here. And with them closing off these head holes, they can do so much less. So they really need to get back towards the site. But as I say that, M with a great kill on the drips. But Beto going to refrag and take her out. But you still have Axe in that position to try to do what he can. But who would have thought Renoid's flanking up through the main stairs is going to take him out. Rai is going to take Beto out in a refrag though. And we could see a C4 here coming out. Is this going to land? It does. It takes out Renoid's. But Toast is the one planting likely taking a little bit of damage as rise pushes up through the main stairs trying to clutch this round for his team rise going to get air jabbed on his way into big tower now for a second time trying to flank in through attic and it looks like the attack are going to know that likely swinging this little attic hole, but a drop from Rise is not going to matter as Toast swings the attic rotate and takes him out. Two to two now. Definitely a closer match here on Oregon. All right, Rise setting up some thorns out on uh, outside bunker right now, trying to hold this down. An aggressive swing with the C7, but unfortunately for him, nobody is there for him to kill. Axe going to be roaming upstairs right now, and it looks like the attack is doing. Kind of a push all over the place. We see Renoids as well as Drips pushing through uh, Small Tower side while the rest of the team are pushing Bunker. Now Drips going to have to be very careful of Silo here underneath this castle barricade. This could be disastrous for Drips. If someone's holding this and Iana is going to swing into the hallway. Going to take a ton of damage here. That is not good. Actually going to get taken out though from Renoids. How did Silo not get any kills here at all? Renoids and Drips going to be... Practically one HP each, but how did Xylo not get even one kill there? Toast going to get a kill of his own. That's going to be Rise being taken out. 
Thorn going down. A push in from likely will take out Grim. That is unfortunate. M going to refrag though onto Toast. Great shots by her. Gonna punch open that castle barricade and try to watch the bunker push. And that's gonna be another kill for her as Beto goes down. Renoid's trying to push in through Freezer though. M doing what she can. Zylo gets a kill. And wow, the trade. Wow, and a great shot by M. An awesome round here by M. That was incredible to clutch out that round. And she is going to secure a match point for the Plat team. Three to two now. And lead the team eight and two. Incredible. Take a look at the scoreboard. Toast leading the team for the gold players, five and three. Beto close behind, five and four. Second place for the Plat team, Rise, five and four. Great performance by these guys. And once again, I just want to give a thank you to all these players for coming out and playing. Make sure if you guys are interested in playing in any of these videos, you guys check out the link in the description to my Discord. Completely free to join, like I mentioned before. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, consider liking, subscribe if you guys are new, turn those notifications on. It would mean quite a lot to me. And let's get on to possibly the final rounds of this game. All right, Rise is close on this big tower door here. This could be a problem for the attackers. They are pushing in through big tower, it looks like at least. So we'll see if they end up droning Rise or not. It so far it doesn't look like Beto is going to be droning him out. Here comes the drone, but Rise is going to walk out and that could have been two kills. He didn't know it, but Renoids was running towards Garage at the same time. But Rai's going to secure at least the one kill and move on. That's all I needed to do. It's match point anyways. Running back to site now. And leaving the attack. One less person in attic. Here comes the Mav from Drips. And it looks like Grim is trying to contest it the best that he can. I don't know how much faith I put in drips here on the map trick. So I'm not sure if Grim needs to be overly worried. A little square rotate hole is coming out here. Grim still trying to get this kill. And wow, someone drove their drone directly into the cave claw. That is interesting here. Rise and Grim just both sharing this little map hole, trying to get a kill. And that they will, at least Grim will, onto Drip. So that map hole will not be open the rest of the way. And it looks like, so far at least, they're not going to be able to get that Kate off the wall. And with Drips not finishing the map rotate, Toast and Likely are going to do exactly what they're doing now and rotate off. Possibly trying to get the cage from underneath. We will see what they do. They have Renoids on IQ who could just go into meeting and shoot it off in two seconds. With that being said, M is currently inside of Armory. Looks like trying to get a kill here onto Renoids. Who is for some reason all the way out by Street Spawn still. Likely in the garage right now. Toast pushing up through the main stairs is going to get a kill onto M. So that's Jaeger being taken out. Zylo going to get another kill onto Toast. Renoids though, the last player for the Plat team, going to get a kill for himself as well. Trying to make it two and he will. That's Axe being taken out. Can Renoids make this an OT game and clutch this for his team? If he doesn't win this round, the video is over. GG's. Grim and Zylo trying to make that a reality right now. Zylo holding the angle. Shots come out. And he's going to get the kill on to Renoids. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. The Plats are going to take it 2-0 in the best of three. Can five golds be five Plats? It appears these five golds cannot be these five Plats at the very least. If you guys enjoyed this video, consider liking, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, check out G Fuel at the link in the description, use code SHOCK to get 30% off your order, and thank you so much for watching.